Счастливо! Subscribe to our channel. Enjoy our adventure. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Vera is back. I'm back. We are uh, driving to Tbilisi. I finally learned how to say this word, the name of the capital of Georgia. Three months. Three months. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to pick up the drone, our drone that uh, is being repaired as we speak now. Hopefully, Finally, yeah. hopefully. At first we thought that uh, the drone, uh, crashing the drone was bad luck and we were very sad about it, but every cloud has a silver lining. Follow us on Instagram knows that Vera uh, went to Moldova to renew her passport. I to come back to yeah. Moldova to renew my passport, uh, which uh, actually is not so privileged as uh, Aldo. In yeah, Italian yeah, I can, I can renew my passport <laughs> in any embassy around yeah. the world. So Vera can't, she uh, needs to either go back home or do it in the country or residence, residence which in yes. our case it's the United Kingdom. I would have uh, to, to renew, renew my it, passport yeah, ne next, next year. year and uh, if I would be in somewhere in Africa it would be much more costly and much more complicated to fly back home. I also got to spend time with my mom which in this particular period needed me and the most. And yeah, she was there while uh, you know the conflict between Russia and Ukraine escalated, and she woke up one morning hearing yes. actually the bombing uh, on Odessa. Odessa. Let's hope Scary. this will end soon. So uh, maybe when you watch this video, the war is already over and they finally find an agreement. I hope so. Yeah. The backpack. She needed the backpack for traveling, which we store on top of the roof rack, mm. and uh, due to the fact that the beginning of January was dreadful, has been pouring down rain torrential every day continuously, continuously. for weeks uh, even it, months yeah our storage bag got full of water quite a lot and everything was wet so some mold was getting formed all around the, the bags and the clothes and even some spare parts that we do have and we keep up there so we managed, we managed to clean to, everything yeah. sanitize it was, it was a mess yes. the room was full of everything all yes. around we, we saved rescued. a lot <laughs> yeah we saved a lot yes. and uh, otherwise we wouldn't have no clothes and nothing because exactly. we would have opened it um, in spring in spring in so one in month one month two months and that would have been really a big problem this is to say that when something uh, happen, bad happens to you, don't um, know... Yeah, don't get frustrated yeah. like right away. It's uh, just think positive and along the way you can understand that... Uh, Someone will pop up, there will be an event uh, right there to happen for you that that was, uh, was meant to be. This is at least from our experience we can... What, what we can share with you... Worst case and, scenario... Yeah you have some extra experience not exactly. to make the same mistake in the future <laughs> and i hope exactly. i will not make another mistake to break the drone again so yeah, yeah finger crossed for the first night we're gonna stay at the truck stop it's very big quiet and uh, as a bonus they got some cheap diesel for tomorrow so very good Vera is uh, getting changed it's uh, time to go to bed that was the signal now it's my turn Five minutes, you just give me five minutes and cinque minuti, okay, five minutes. Amore, good morning, how did you sleep? Good, good, it was good, weird though, after uh, over a month, but uh, very good, better than in guest house. You didn't sleep <laughs> enough, you wanted to wake me up, I was yes. so nice and comfy. Yes. <laughs> Making breakfast, yeah? Yes. On the road. On the road again. Will this rain ever end? I hate this road.
It has been a few times already that we've been passing through this village and we noticed all these little stalls with some strange shapes, bread. We don't know what it is, so I'm gonna now pack the car and see what uh, what's all about. Let's go. The toy is really dirty. Okay. Now we go in the car and I'm gonna ask Bella we'll try them. what they talk about. Okay, so what was the name again? What was the name again? Nazuki. Nazuki. Oh, I see you there. You're dying to try it. Uh, yes. She what? said that she, she said it's like a sweet bread, so it has uh, margarine. But, but she said it's something they only make in here. Yes. <laughs> uh, she said actually it's only made in this region, so it's uh, like a local delica uh, delicatessen. Delicatessen. <laughs> delicatessen. <laughs> it's a local delicacy. Flour, obviously, sugar, margarine, eggs and milk. Sultanas, raisins uh, and cinnamon. And uh, okay, it costs three lari, which is uh, around uh, one one dollar. So it's now time to try it. Mm. So how is it? It looks like it's a bit dry. What's what do you Actually, think? Actually, <laughs> it's very dry. <laughs> I feel a lot of cinnamon. It's not a lot of sugar. It's like a bread, sweet bread, and uh, to be honest, uh, I wouldn't buy it again. So you don't like it? It's okay, if you are really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So this morning we decided to stop, uh, it's bad weather, there is no strong wind, tonight will be minus 4, it's maybe better to go to the capital Belize tomorrow to do our things and uh, just take it easy today. Uh, it's very nice, it's a picnic area, there are some horses every now and then all around. It's uh, just a shame because it's full of trash and uh, it's such a pity, I'm gonna show you now. As you can see, I'm surrounded by pine trees. It's like a labyrinth. It's so beautiful. Look at this. It's just that it's full of trash and plastic bottles, napkins, never ending. And this is all from the locals. You know, they come here, have the picnic, throw everything on the ground. It's uh, such a pity. You know, it's their country. That's something I don't understand. That's disgusting. This should be at the basis of anyone's behavior. Just take your trash with you, don't, don't litter. It's already so difficult to deal with the properly disposed uh, garbage that, you know, this only increased the big problem that mankind is facing. I'm curious to, to see your, your thoughts about it. Just leave us a comment because it's... The, everywhere we go, we, we, we always find places that are trashed by people recklessly and uh, it's really sad. Such a shame. Many of you have asked us who edits our videos, how we do it, where. Sometimes we go to libraries, other times it's at the uh, hotel where we're staying, but uh, most of the times it happens in here, in the car. I've got this laptop cooler, I've got the laptop that is laying on the steering wheel, got some headphones here, the power wire that is connected to the, our power station, the Blue Etty, and this is how I do it. The video that you are watching now, I'm in fact editing here now with the software. Most of the time we are camping somewhere in the wild, so I just turn my face and I can enjoy these beautiful views. That is for the inspiration. There you have it, mystery solved. What the difference is a sunny day. There is not a cloud in the sky, beautiful.
we are here, back. Time to go pick up our drone. Guys, there we go. That's our drone, back to life. I see it, a few scratches, but uh, it's okay. All has been changed. Got a new camera gimbal set, so new arm. Yeah, let's go for a try. We have some uh, Georgian Larry left, and we decided to exchange them. So what you got, what you got? Show me the money. Yay. What's that, what's that? That's uh, 19,000 uh, Armenian drums. Got the battery charged, drone is here. I'm gonna put it all together. We are next to a lake, just outside Tbilisi. Very dirty lake. It's very dirty, yeah, well. A lot of garbage, it's but just it's, a it's, shame. Uh, open space very important when you mount the propellers on the drone you see in here is like colored like a solid color so it has to go on top of the uh, engine which is on the rotor that has this little gray little color here you see like that and in here there is nothing no color so that's where you put the other one that's got nothing no solid color on it That's it guys, we are ready to leave Georgia. We are literally only a few kilometers away from the border with Armenia. We had a nice shower, prepared ourselves and, and we are good to go. We also filled up Toto's tank. They told us that the diesel prices are the same in Armenia, but the quality here is better. And I also took the opportunity to apply a nice coat of wax on our Toto for more protection. Method Master Miyagi of Karate Kid. Put the wax, remove the wax. Put the wax, remove the wax. Georgia, what else to say? Well, we clearly stayed much longer than we thought, but we had an incredible experience here. We met some wonderful people, made new friends, uh, enjoyed their culture, traditions, uh, rich history, very good food and wine as well. On the other side, we think that uh, in here they like to party a little bit too much. And as a consequence, there is a lack of care for the environment. And that is a real shame. But undoubtedly, it is a country that is worth visiting. The usual drill. Passports, car registration documents, temporary insurance, COVID, and a bit of cash. Let's go to customs. We are at the border, Georgian border. They don't want to let us go. They are saying that we overstayed. 